Hi, I'm Scott Gordon. And I'm Brett Pursuit. And we're here at my house in Laguna Niguel, California, uh, with a four kilowatt solar system on it. Right now, the meter is spinning backwards, and our job today is to make it spin forward. So I'm going to go ahead and head in the house here and start flipping some stuff on. So right now we have a base load going. We have two refrigerators, two DVRs, an attic fan, a computer, and a monitor going already. The meter's spinning backwards. And we'll check and see if we're going forward yet. Okay, Brad, I've turned on every single light in my house and every single ceiling fan in the house. Yep, still seeing it spin backwards, Scott. Keep, uh, keep on flipping switches in there. Let's uh, boil some water in the microwave. Let's see if that does it. Oh, oh, it's it's going forwards finally. Microwaves are huge consumers of electricity. Most people don't realize this. So I've turned on all these lights in the house and what it took was this microwave. Trying to shut this off. We'll see what we're doing now. Hey, Brett, how's it doing now? I turned the microwave off. The meter is going backwards. It seems like the microwave is kind of our uh, turning point there. All right, well, I'm gonna go out and turn the pool pump on and we'll see what that does. This is a three-quarter horse pool pump. Should suck about six, seven hundred watts. Brett, how are looking now? Just turn the pool pump on. Forward it goes. The pool pump is uh, taking some serious power, it looks like. So are we going forward fast or slow? Somewhat slow. So I'm going to simulate a normal day. Obviously, we don't need all these lights on. I'm going to go back in and turn all those lights off, leave the ceiling fans on, leave the pool pump on and we'll see if we can get the meter to go forward with stuff we would normally be doing during the day. How are we doing now, Brad? Meter's still going backwards. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this TV on. You might wanna watch TV on a day like today. We have the five ceiling fans running. We have the base load of the DVRs, plus the refrigerators. Meter's still spinning backwards. I'm going to go ahead and head in the garage. I have a big air conditioning unit there. We're going to turn that on and see if that has any impact on uh, the system moving backwards. I just turned on an air conditioning unit. What happened? Meter's still going left. Okay, so now we have the pool pump on, the AC on, five ceiling fans full blast, plus we're watching TV and we have the surround sound system on. Meter is still going backwards. At this point, we could go back through the house. Um, try a couple other things. We can turn on the dryer. I'm kind of curious to see what happens if I turn the dryer on. It's just right through this door here. I just turned on an electric clothes dryer. Meter's uh, thinking about going, oh, it's going forwards. Ah, uh, thinking about it a little bit and then it decided to go forward. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Reach the, uh, tipping point between the pool, the air conditioner, the clothes dryer, and the TV. This is an older dryer. Let's try uh, an energy efficient washer and see if there's any difference. The second utility. A newer energy efficient washing machine. What's happening? It's thinking about it. Still thinking about it. Got a high energy, it looks like. So. Okay, so it's just kind of stopped. It doesn't know whether to go forward or backward. We've reached a stalemate with the utility. That's fun when that happens. It's hard to do, but that was it. The washer was the stalemate. Thanks for helping out with all this, Brett. No problem, Scott. Um, it's amazing to me as we were running around flipping all that stuff on, and we still went back a whole kilowatt hour uh, as far as what we've sold back to the utility. Power of the sun. It's important to realize that the system that we're experimenting with today is five years old. So this isn't the latest and greatest cutting edge technology. A lot of people want to wait for the next greatest thing to come out. This five-year-old system is still producing grid compliant electricity and it's producing almost as much as it was five years ago. And so what you want to look at when you're properly sizing a solar system, the system will make the meter spin backward during the day. I've saved over $10,000 in electricity in the last uh, five years almost now, and had I waited for the latest and greatest technology to come out, I would have left that $10,000 on the table. Well, thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed watching us make the meter spin forward, and I hope you have solar on your home soon, and you can try this yourself, because it's a lot of fun.